So far, we've been dealing with matrices in the abstract, and then you can say, well, a matrix A, that's M by N, can be written as U times sigma times V Amesian transpose, and then you can express that in terms of the columns of U, the columns of V, and the diagonal elements of sigma, and then you can say, well, if a whole bunch of these diagonal elements are equal to zero, then the rank of the matrix is equal to the number of non-zero singular values that are on the diagonal. Now, the problem in practice is that you may um, collect A, you may compute A, but in computing A or measuring A, there may be some error in matrix A. There may be some noise in that matrix. In that case, it's unlikely that any of the diagonal elements are equal to zero. Or it may be the case that you're given a matrix A that has exact rank R, but in implementing the algorithm or in executing the algorithm that actually computes the singular value decomposition due to round off error that you encounter along the way, a little bit of noise is introduced and again, typically then none of these diagonal elements are equal to zero. Now, how then can you detect what the actual rank of matrix A is? Well, it turns out that if you cut this off after k singular values and you set the rest to zero and you remember that the singular values are ordered from largest to smallest, then if you go ahead and set all of these to zero because, for example, you believe them to be small enough that they should be treated as zero, the resulting matrix is the rank K matrix that in the 2 norm or the Frobenius norm is closest to matrix A. Okay. So now we have a way of detecting the rank of a matrix or the effective rank of a matrix. How can we sharpen this a little bit? Well, notice that what this really means is that A can be written as u left, u right, times sigma top left, zero, zero, sigma bottom right, times v left, v right, Hermitian transpose, where uh, sigma top left is, let's see, it's real value, so it is k by k. Then we can say that A is approximately equal to u left, u right, times sigma top left, zero, 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 v left, v right, which then gives us an approximate reduced singular value decomposition, u left, sigma top left, v left, Hermitian transpose. And this matrix right here is the matrix of rank K that is closest to the original matrix A. And often this is used to uh, approximate the matrix, and often it is used to filter out noise that may be in a matrix or in a picture that you view as a matrix. So this is actually a very, very practical um, insight.